joining us on Primary Perspectives, award-winning radio created for kids by kids that parents love too. Well, hey there everyone and thanks for tuning in for another fun fabulous hour of edutainment on Primary Perspectives, SBN's multi-award winning global radio show for kids by Bye, kids. Today in the studio, you're with Reka and Tara and, and we have an oceanic extravaganza lined up today with three incredible marine experts on the line. Though before we introduce our guests, let's talk about you, Alosha, as you've been a keen conservationist since a very young age. And you're dedicated to spreading awareness about marine life on a global scale. In fact, you're a youth ambassador for the Marine Conservation Network in Santa Barbara, California. A global youth shark ambassador for El Porto Shark in Los Angeles. And a member of the Marine Biological Association in the UK. All by the age of 12. Wow. Thank you, Tara. Um, sure. How I first became passionate about the oceans. So... I got interested about the oceans when I was six. And when I was four, I actually liked astronomy. But one day I stumbled upon a marine biology. And ah. then I just dove into it because it was so interesting. <laughs> now, speaking of the Marine Conservation Network, I'm thrilled to welcome our first guest today, Kimberly Ray, CEO and founder of the Marine Conservation Network in California. Kimberly shares my passion for sharks. And our first discussion today is about these amazing apex predators that are so important for keeping our oceans healthy. And Kimberly has actually been a guest on the show from just a few years ago, so it's fantastic to welcome you back to Primary Perspectives, Kimberly. Thank you so much for taking a walk on the wild side with us today, or as we should probably say, a dive into the wild side. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you for having me on. You guys sound like you're so excited and ready to go. I love this. Yes, we absolutely are. Yeah. Now, before we dive into our chat about sharks, let's introduce our other two amazing guests today. After our chat with Kimberly, we'll be exploring the majestic orcas, also known as killer whales, with none other than international expert Dr. Vanessa Perotta. It's going to be a whale of a time. <laughs> Well, how did whales get into the studio? I don't know, Alicia. They must have snuck in. I see what you did there. And then to wrap up the show, we'll be speaking with marine ecologist and animal physiologist Dr. Adam Downey, who will be shedding light on the delicate balance of marine ecosystems and why they are so vital to our planet. I'm really looking forward to learning so much on the show today. So let's get started with our true champion for ocean and marine conservation. (laughs) So Alosha, we know you really love sharks and know a lot about them. How many different species of sharks are there and what are some of the most common misconceptions about them? Well, I do love sharks. Also, there are 500 known species of sharks. What? But the number might change as... Yeah, as new species are discovered. So, a couple of misconceptions about sharks include that all sharks are dangerous. Mm. This might be true for a couple of species like the great white and the tiger shark. But most of them are just harmless. Oh. Sharks and the sharks are man-eaters. This is heavily influenced by the media mm, and yeah. that they are mindless killing machines. Yes, that's crazy. I can definitely understand that there's a big misconception out yeah. there. I mean, you know, in movies and everything, yeah. sharks are often the villains, There's right? always that big chase where the main character's just about to get eaten by a shark and then get saved <laughs> by a turtle. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> so, <laughs> thank you for sharing that with us, Alicia. It's definitely important to combat these misconceptions. And now we have more questions. <laughs> wow. Now, Alosha, we have another question for you because we know that you love talking about bioluminescence and how deep sea organisms actually utilize this phenomenon. Are there any deep sea sharks or sharks that use bioluminescence? Of course, there are many species of sharks that use bioluminescence. Really? Um, a couple of examples are blackberry lantern shark, which is my favorite type of bioluminescent shark. So the entire lantern shark family, they all use bioluminescence. 
they they mostly have their bioluminescence on their stomachs and feet. So when a predator looks from underneath them, they can see that the light that comes from the surface. So they basically they blend into the surface light that comes in. So they basically become invisible. Also, a couple of deep sea sharks include cookie cutter sharks, goblin sharks, field sharks, blood nose, six tail sharks, and dogfish sharks. Hmm. Wow, that is so cool. I had absolutely no idea. Yeah. 